I'm astonished by how much they do for you as an animal. I mean, it's something that I've never experienced before. At age 17, Darren Pete's life changed suddenly and forever when he broke his neck in a swimming accident. Considering that I'm in a wheelchair, I have lived a pretty um, normal life, I guess you would say. You know, my perspective was, no, life's not over. There's still, you know, you're here for a purpose and, and you're still here to do something. He married his college sweetheart, Lorena. And before long, they adopted their daughter, Sarah, and son, Adam. And at that point, with my son, who has um, special needs, I said, you know something, not only could the dog help me, but it could also could help my son. My first service dog was Robus. Now that he's retired, he's a little more relaxed. Now Robus can, can kick back and say, okay, you young whippersnapper, you can go work with him. I'm gonna sit here and sleep a little longer. So now I have Rex, and, and Rex is two years old. He has a real lovable heart. He, he wants to please people. He cracks me up because he's always looking around, trying to figure out, okay, you want me to do this? You want me to do this? What do you want me to do? Whereas Robus was like, Hey, I know what I'm doing. Just give me the command, I'll do it. After working with the dog for nine years, I knew him, he knew me, he knew what to do. I knew how to work with him. So I'm learning all that now with, with Rex. Rex, Doug, come on, you can do it. Good boy. They're with you, you know, 24 seven. Every day that I go to work, I take uh, Rex with me. It's Mr. Pete's and Rex, you know. Before it was Mr. Pete's and Robus, but now it's Mr. Pete's and Rex. Usually I have, I have the kids help me or I have um, the parents help me or my instructional assistant. But when they're gone, who do I have? I have Rex. When I come on in in the morning and get everything all set up, if I'm dropping stuff on the ground, he's there to help me out. He usually goes to his bed and he's relaxing, just taking it easy until reading time. They love to sit there and just share a book with him. And Rex will just sit there quietly and just listen to them. So he really encourages the kids to get a book and read. Look at that, Rex. Monkey up a tree, monkey on the garden. For me, a dog is great to be able to help me when, I, when I'm out there, whether at work or whether I'm out there in society. Rex, get good boy. There's also that other part that a dog provides um, that, you know, that is, um, that is much more emotional. For Adam, I remember the day where he told me that uh, Robus was his best friend. And uh, that was very encouraging for me. It told me that, you know, we got the right dog to not only help me, but also to help my son. Now that I see all the things that a dog can do for you, uh, you know, not only physically, but also emotionally. Oh, whoa, look at that. No, I can't see my life without a dog.